Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for some more Divinity 2, Original Sin. Definitive edition, right. Um, we're doing alright, I think. We're still in Fort Joy. Um, let's get this started. Yeah, we're still in Fort Joy. Look at those loading times. So good on PS5. Um... Yeah, I'm mean, having a nightmare with my party with skills and everything else. Um, I'm a knight, so I'm primarily going to do warfare. And I don't know, opportunist. Um, there's not a lot more I can really do with him. Uh, Red Prince is a mage, a wizard, so he's doing geo and pyro. Um, Sibylla is, I was getting confused, I thought Summoner was a, like a, what you actually were, but it's just a skill, so any of those could have been a Summoner, so I've sort of fucked up there a little bit, so she's a mage, uh, like another wizard, um, I wish I'd chosen something else, but, so I want necromancy as well, so, I don't know if a summoning and necr necromancy would go well together, but I'm going to probably put necromancy on Sibylla. Um, Loshi is a, a, a ranger and Geo. I don't know why I put Geo on her, but so I haven't really got a healer. I, I want probably some, someone to have hydro. Um, and also, when when Sibylla reads the books, when well, not reads the books, eats the limbs and the head and everything else, she eats things and she gains skill points. Right? She gained a skill point for Huntsman. Now she can't use it, and I can't transfer the Huntsman skill to Loshi. So it's sort of wasted, isn't it? I wish I could just move it over. It was a good one as well. It was um, first aid, which I need. I need some sort of healer on the team. Because I find I'm running out of health pulses and uh, resurrection spells. Like there's no tomorrow. And uh, without a healer, I'm screwed. So I'm thinking. Uh, Sibylla summoning necromancy and some sort of it's going to be hydro for a healer isn't it I don't know <laughs> anyway I, I, I mean I've, I've still got a, a space but I want to pour all my points into strength and um, warfare and two-handed, if I can. <clears throat> but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't know. I know you don't have to be perfect in your setups, but anyway, I'm going to take on what's his face, Miko. Uh, well, it's quite a tricky fight, and Miko is down here. Here's the little fucker, look at him. I've spotted something. Yeah. What? Oh. Well that wasn't there before. Even the most noble among us must occasionally dirty their claws. What is it? What? A hatch? Wait a minute. Underground. There's something else new I wasn't expecting to see. Where does that go? Oh, well. See, I've got Yarrow. Oh, this guy wants Yarrow, doesn't he? I've got Yarrow, but 
I want his armor. <laughs> so I'm going to have to kill him, aren't I? Which is going to use a lot of my resource resources. Now with Sabir, I could put a totem on that blood straight away, which could be useful. Let's see how this goes. I better save again, haven't I? Because this is going to go badly while well, I can see it. Save. Let's get our asses kicked again. I wonder what happens when I give him the arrow. Let's see. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, oh, pain goody. apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. Mm. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, mm. a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Mm. Mm. Quickly now, for I haven't much time. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. Give him the arrow. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear. Dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow Girl. Can it really be you? Tom, you're glad he found what he was looking for. Back away from the bees, hoping to further provoke him. I want your armor. <laughs> the creature clenches the plant tightly. His breath quickens. He seems liable to lunge at you at the drop of a pin. Oh. You wouldn't understand. Father's pride, a father's love. The creature begins to weep. Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring, heart of me, name of Migo. Thank you. So I've got a ring. Yarrow girl, you ground you have. Have that. Have that. Wood chips. But he's still got his armour on. Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Don't know what to do here. Let's get some distance. Um, magic ring. Who's got that? Me? There it is. What does it actually do? Uh, Migo's ring, two magic armor. Grants the skill restoration. Oh, that is useful. Who wants restoration? Um, oh god. Let me just give it to Sabil. Actions. Send to Sabil. What about these gloves? Free physical armor. Which I think I probably need. Um, equipment. Ring. Let's get that on you. Restoration is there. 
Um, I've still got my bloody necklaces on, haven't I? Which hinders me greatly. <laughs> Let me put those gloves on. And we'll kick his ass. Oh no, I've got the gloves. Wait. One physical armour. Three physical armour. So who else needs gloves? It's physical armour, so the rogue maybe? Let's give her some gloves. <laughs> well, four physical armor, three physical armor. Oh god, let's save it again. He's gonna kick my ass. I better see what is updated in Migo's journal first. Migo, where is he? The murderous geist. A Yarrow flower claimed calmed the geist. Migo gave us the ring. Okay. <laughs> oh no, this is going to go wrong. Um. Totem. Okay, I'm still getting away with it. <laughs> uh. Why did it die? Got another go. Totem. Mosquito swarm, I can't do. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> uh, so it's what's his face? They're all a bit close, aren't they?
Oh shit. What's happened to his life? He's nearly out of armour. Who is it? Um, So she's fortified. Me. Um, <clears throat> let's get in. What's that? Decaying deals with physical damage to target character. It sets decay so the target will take physical damage from healing spells and potions. Resist your physical. Resisted by physical armor. Um, Blinding Radiance, enemies around you receive 10 air damage. I don't know if I need to use these just yet. Come on, let's take him out. Oh, so. I'm wondering if I could try and use this now. Burning arrows. Basic attack. <sighs> I can't even move. Oh, I did a bit. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? What's going on? Um, so, Sabeel now. I don't actually know what that did. Okay, we've got a little uh, geezers out. Target gains. Who's the lowest? Clear minded. Let's 
going to get her though, isn't it? I got him and I didn't die. That's progress. Oh, uh, that's definite progress. Yes. And I'll have my yarrow back. Thank you very much. There's nothing else around here, is there? So, let me get that armor on straight away, because that was really good. So that's 12 physical armor, 15 physical, plus 1 strength. That's good. I've got nothing else here. Um, useless. Don't need a cooking pot, do we? Yet. Um, there was nothing here, was there? I'm not sure what's down that hatch, you know. It's there for a reason, isn't it? It's my journal been updated now. Murderous geese. Oh yeah, I was claimed calmed. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get these collars removed. What do you think? Uh... I mean, does that mean the Magisters will attack me on sight now, if I get that removed? Save. More importantly, save. Um... So let's have a little look on the map. So, that was to follow the Fort Joy Square. That's the mission to go and um, destroy that phylactery for that statue down in the Alvin Cavern. With the wood or whatever is night, the night. That is to get my thing removed. I don't know if I should. I've still got a ton of stuff to do. Sod it. Let's get this shit removed. Opens us up. 
for um, <clears throat> more spells and whatever. So I don't think I'm going to go in the front door anyway. <gasps> Excuse me. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow. What do you need? I need this shit off my neck. <laughs> the hammer got you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the fed. She nods once. Clever lass, her. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. Question is, what she sees in him. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul. Quiet. People do change, don't they? Wow. She's not giving me the... By all means, get an eyeful. Lock picks. We'll take two of them. That's useful, but stupidly expensive. Dimensional Bolt. She's got that Kunja Arcane skill book. Farsight Infusion, Improvised Wand. Big Chicken Foot. Tongs. Um. How can I get this thing off my neck? Maybe I need to use someone else. Oh, Dallas, you maniac. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what do you ask her? Say she seems pretty handy, perhaps she can sell you something useful. Say you're new around here and you'd like to make your acquaintance. I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these... She looks up. You looking to buy something? Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to know each other back in the day, you hmm. know. Dallas and I. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the Order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? Oh. For you? <laughs> Hell no. Ask who might be worthy of her services. Worthy is exactly the right word. You know, someone who's proven himself might earn my time of day. Speaking of, you haven't. So buy or shove off. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who has then? Huh? Amidst a crowd of screws. And what do you after? I ain't just sick. she looks up you looking to buy something found it in the scrap heap not so long never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day but once she joined the order she said she nods once you looking to buy something or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions magic and metal like most of Dallas's designs Metal keeps it locked. Magic makes it work. That's all for you. <laughs> Hell no. What the hell? That's for me to know, and you to get out of my face. Buy or shove off. How do I how to get these things taken off my neck?
Amidst a crowd of sc and what you're after. A grin cracks her stony. Sure thing. Is it in here? <laughs> What's that? Water balloon. Brass ring. Sharp piece of metal. Short stick. I ain't. Just sit. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Outlaw suggests. Uh... Nothing of mine needs testing. Pay or walk. Just don't waste any more of my time. Found it in the scrap heap, not so. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. Oh, I don't know. People do change. She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot for you? <laughs> Hell no. <sighs> That's for me to know, and you to get out of my... I can't get him off. <laughs> I can't get it off. Why? The blacksmith's collar. Aston Woodsman. Your source collar. Well, why don't she do it then? The woman looks up as you approach. What do you need? <laughs> the hammer. Oh, I don't know. People do change, don't they? She nods once. Clever lasser. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. Question is, what? Well, I can't do it. My colours are st colours are stuck on me forever. Great. So, what else have we got? Should we do try this? Let's try and sneak into the prisons. Apparently there's a lever on this thing somewhere. Shrine to Divine. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods. Notice the button Whitmore describes and press it. It's worn service. You hear a strange sound, like rusted hinges creaking and air rushing through a tunnel. A hatch appears behind the shrine. Shrine, by the looks of it. He has spoken. Lucian has spoken. The eternal prayer. It worked. Um, no, it's up here, isn't it? I think the hatch. That. Hatch to the underground. Oh God, where the hell am I? <laughs> Razor. Right. The way to Zauskar. Okay. So we've got a few ways to go here.
waypoint discovered. That's a little bit glitchy, isn't it? Boots. Yeah. Yep. More money. Good. That's locked. So there's a green. Who's this guy? Get that girl and her head sucker out of here. Zilic. I uh, guess he's talking about you. Tell her she ought to address him. He seems to know something about her. Let's just see about that. Hey, loudmouth, what gives? I'm trying to relax here, aren't I? Relax. Whatever's going on with you and your passenger, I don't really need it in my vicinity. <laughs> you can, you can see it. S see? Hey, sense? Good God, yes. Oh, You're he, a mystic too. He can sense her demon inside her. Mystic? Ha! Used to be a sort of demonologist, though. Was learning the arts, at least. Never did have much of a knack for it, to be honest. Studied under a real maestro, though. Learned this and that, too. He's a demonologist. Ask if he can help with whatever Lo is in Lois's head. Yes. Doubt it. Mm. Exorcism's a tier three skill. I was only halfway through tier one when I got thrown in here. Come on, make yourself useful. There's got to be something you can do. Well, I might be able to tell you exactly what's inside you. Yeah. Might be any number of things: a ghost, a floater, a, a floater. dreamer who took a wrong oh. turn somewhere. A number two. Let me try something. He places a thumb on each of Losa's temples and one foot gently on hers. Now, let's see. Oh. Holy, holy, holy. You ought to thank your lucky stars. That thing hasn't turned you into a meat puppet by now. Crick on a cracker. You need help. Serious help. Oh, don't I know it. <laughs> Do me a favour. Get out of here and hie you to the north of Driftwood. My old master was hot on the heels of something there. And if anyone can help you, he can. Driftwood, old master, hot hills. Got it. Oh, well, this could be the start of her. I don't dare say it now. Not while her... Guest is listening. Don't you worry. With something like that inside you, Loser, he'll either come to you or you'll be drawn to him soon enough. So, updated that. <laughs> updated her sort of mission, quest line. Um. <sighs> I've got a feeling there's going to be some tough fights in here. Locked.
Eddie. Where's Eddie? What? Ask the little rat if she can tell you anything about this place. This place? Well, hum. The fleas seem very happy, at the very least. Yeah, great. That's not quite the information I wanted. Oi! You're very much back. Oh, good. That's for you then. Bye bye, flea scratcher, my bob. Oh, I've got a lockpick. <laughs> Other than that. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? Teleport. A target character. Or item to a point of your choosing. Yes. Sorry, I don't know that one. I don't want talking to you, Alexa. Um, I've got a teleport spell. One off. Scroll. There's lots of things to open here. Damn it. I kind of want to open all these cells. But... See, that's locked as well. There is an up upper level. Um, I'm going to open this and speak to him. Why is he so desperate to stay in prison here? There is no leaving. Don't you know what's outside the fort? I tried to leave. I heard of a shelter in the hollow marshes, a place where sorcerers could go. Yeah. The undead had their hands on me in five minutes. Shredding, tearing. <laughs> I came limping back and now, now, now. Tower no one is coming, she can stop sharing. They'll come. They'll come. You. Who are you? Who are you? you? Get out of here! Where are the guards? Guards! Help! All right. I. It worked. I just, they do terrible things here. If they think for a second I'm trying to escape again, they'll do to me what they did to. Not seen, heard. There's a man over there. They tortured him, questioned him. Seekers, something about God woken. He didn't know anything, but they didn't care. I heard his screams. I heard something eating him from the inside. No, no, no. It can't happen to me. It. It can't! It can't! It can't! It can't! Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting. Um, what the bloody hell? Tell her you're looking for a way out. How did she escape? Tell her she can stay here. She can't stay here. Isn't safe. Decide she seems unstable and leave her. How did she escape? You can't escape. Don't you know what's outside the fort? No, I mean, I've not got a clue. I tried to leave. I heard of a shelter in the hollow marshes, a place where sorcerers could go. The undead had their hands on me in five minutes. Just outside the bones are gnashing. In here the magisters are, are cutting, slicing, grinding, smashing. What to do? What to do? Tell her you're not going to remain here. You leave Fort Joy or die trying. Uh. Poor thing. Poor fool. I hope it's an easy death then. Decapitation. Yes, I do wish that for you. She don't want to go. She does not want to leave. <laughs> At all. Whoa. Underground tunnel. Where the hell is this? creature looms imperiously over you and utters a questioning gurgle. The slime beast growls and lurches forward to attack. I didn't want to attack you. God's sake. Wait, let's lo load. I didn't want to attack that. <laughs> I think you can talk. Maybe I use... I can't talk to animals, can I? Which is annoying. Every animal I should try and use someone else. Strength. You can't silence me. Guards! Guards! You'll see. Look at oh, the shut up. Human. Any minute now, they'll come. Any minute. Who are you? Who are you? All right. I. Not seen. I heard a scream. They can't skip through us. this. You. I tried to leave. The undead had their hands on me in five minutes. Shredding, tearing outside the bones. What a poor thing. So she don't want to go, does she? Um. So I think that's the way out. What's that? Yes. Let's open this other one. I don't want to sit down. <laughs> it said empty. Idiot. Oh, I can't. But this one I can.
Lie on the torture rack. The elf's skin is pale as a corpse's, but his face contorts with inscrutable emotion. Joy, horror, and rapture flash over him like the ch his eyes lock onto yours. It's you! It's Verdas. No, 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 it's you. It's... His back suddenly arches as he spasms in pain. Uh, uh, I, I know it's you. You're like me, see? I'm not the last. The bishop doesn't count. No, he doesn't count. I'm done for, but you, you, there's still hope. He screws up his face as though trying to see a small... You? You need to go. Dallas, after she took me, she did something. My head. I feel like someone's rummaged their fingers through my skull. Get out while you can. Oh, love, I'm wrecked. Can't go. <laughs> wrecked. Couldn't move my feet. It's likely to... He giggles coquettishly, then bellows like a bear. <laughs> Leave! Um, wow. That was Verdas. He was mentioned in the journal um, earlier in the game, wasn't he? Okay, ladies and gents, that's, um, that's it for today's session. We'll continue uh, shortly. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.